Jana Hawking, which I really wish her name was Cocking, but <laughs> and it's, hard, just, Come it's on. so close to glory. Because you know what? I wish it was hyphenated too. So Jana Cock Dash King. <laughs> I'm coming in hot with those uh, intellectual jokes early on. The insane reason why all of these hot, successful women are still single. Okay, two things here. One is, who cares about a successful woman? What's a successful woman to you, Chess? Uh, she wanted to start a family. She's loyal, has kids. A married know. mother or a, a married a, mar- a, a married, well, a, a married grandmother, right? Like, it's one thing to be, you know, a woman who's married with kids, but then to keep that going, right? I'd say mm-hmm. a grandmother. Like, that's, that's successful. These women think a successful woman is one with an HR job that requires 50 hours a week making PowerPoints and nobody re- listen, listens to or reads. So successful. Jana Hawking, Hawking, Cocking, has a huge amount of friends who are catches yet still single. She said, you know what? Catching one of her friends is probably like catching an STD. <laughs> I was, I was to, Sorry. Damn it. She says it's because they've set standards for men that are too high. React to that, Chaz. Oh, man. <sighs> too high. Now, my standard, no hymen, no diamond, you know, the warband standard, that that's a standard that people say is horrible, disgusting, how dare horrible. You? How, how dare you? But she says... Six foot tall, six pack, six figure salary, six inch ding dong. You know, she's empowered. She knows what she wants. I mean, hey, you know, if she can get what she wants all by all means, please. But if they were getting those men, then we wouldn't have articles like this being written, right? If they weren't single, they wouldn't be bitching and moaning about how Chad doesn't want them. But guess what? Chad. Chad. Maybe Mr. Wright is trying to herd sheep into a shearing shed, she said. So she's saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't go for the CEO. And I love this next one, like this next line. Read more. The shocking new ways guys are asking for casual sex. <laughs> you know, I just imagine this is in Australia. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, he's just like, dude, the shocking new way guys are asking casual sex. It's like seven in the morning. These chicks are waking up and they hear, but um, but um, but um. Look outside. It's undead chronic <laughs> riding a kangaroo buck naked with a Polaroid. He takes a picture of his schlong and takes it to their front door and then bounces away to the next house. <laughs> uh, the dating world is in a state of disarray. That's an explanation point. I came to this conclusion last weekend after I invited my girlfriends over for a glass of champagne before a fancy lunch at Iceberg's. I bet these chicks are as large as icebergs, bro. <laughs> I'm always just trying to think of, oh, man, I can make a fat girl joke here, but I'm trying to put it together, and then you just go for it. As I looked around my lounge room, I realized that all my friends are absolute catches. Okay, that's another thing. Women will say women are hot, right? So, like, whenever I roast a chick on Twitter, all these disgusting women come into the replies. You've seen this before, Chaz. It's like, oh, yeah. what are you talking about? She's beautiful. And my first response is, are you a lesbian? And they go, no. And they're like, then you don't know what a hot woman looks like. Like, you you don't, like, women are not a good judge of whether or not women are hot or not. Because they will lie to each other and themselves that they're hot, they're valuable. Because their self-worth is wrapped up in how many dudes call them hot. That's what it is. For the majority of women, they need to be told they're hot. They need to tell their friends they're hot. They're all lying to each other. They'll call each other hot and then go back home to their husband or man. Like, that bitch is disgusting. So I absolutely love how a hundred dudes, a hundred different people, men and women, whatever, they will tell a chick, you're hot, you're attractive. But one dude, one Griga, has the audacity to say you're mid at best. Suddenly that, you live in their head rent free. Yep. Because, there, wait a minute, there's no way. Are you telling me that 80 of those 100 people were lying to me? Maybe, because they're just trying to make you feel good about yourself? Because they're trying to not hurt your feelings or some shit? But you don't understand, Chaz. Her friends are absolute catches. Not only are they gorgeous. Okay, you can see the first picture here. Yes. Would we describe any of these women as gorgeous? No. Let's go from left to right. Hmm. Looks like Snooky's on Australian vacation from the left. This one 
Looks like they airbrush iPhone filtered a jogger with a wig on. Okay. Ooh. One in the middle. Could have been cute 15 years ago. Next to her. Oh, my gosh. You see this chick's jaw? Ugh. That, dude, that's the crimson chin. No, dude. She's got, she, she's got, she's had more meat run through that jaw than an Australian saltwater crocodile, man. Yoinks. And then chick to the right. I bet she was, you know, I bet the chick to the right was. She was raising a good girl family to be a good girl. Then she came to the West and, you know, that her parents would like go to college, be a lawyer, be whatever. And she just does not understand why guys aren't asking her on dates. Because you rejected all the dudes that asked you on dates when you were in high school and college. And that's not a problem. They got the chick in the back. She's like, ha. She's probably screwed. Like, ha. And this guy's on the phone in the back on the green shirt. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, like, yo, Chaz, pick me up. These bitches are obnoxious. <laughs> These bitches are obnoxious, bro. Bro, I <laughs> going to need hearing aids after this, man. Oh. So they got great jobs, comfortable wages, and are ridiculously good company. And it's not just this group of girlfriends. I have at least two other groups who are all in the same boat. So how many girlfriend groups does she have? And how, how well does she actually know these women? Probably just on a first name basis. Oh, this is Becky. She likes the color blue. She's my girlfriend. And yet they are all single. All the white Australian dudes are like, I don't know, these chicks. The makeup makes it hard, but I think the one on the left... 35 i'm gonna say 35 to 45 is their age range all the 35 year old white aussie guys they want to date are all dating asians right now based <coughs> not for want of trying may i add we spent the afternoon recounting hilarious dating stories sharing the bonkers things we had seen on dating apps and pondering why dudes insist on sharing gym selfies ick so what would their dating horror stories probably be like? Oh, he didn't take me to this super fancy place. Oh, he was a bit awkward and did, and probably was autistic. Uh, what's another dating horror story thing? Oh, uh, he didn't come across as super rich. Oh, he also didn't look as tall as he did on his photos. You see, that's probably all the, uh, you know, horrible. I'm going to drag myself things. to this establishment but <gasps> with a bowl of bran flakes. I'm like, need milk, need milk. And the girl goes, oh, my God, a guy with a career. I got milk for you. Look, I'm like, no milk. And I start crawling to the next place. <laughs> Chick's got no titties. At least have some bazoingas if you're going to be annoying me. Okay, let's continue. What we're after isn't anything too crazy. A nice guy who is well put together, has emotional intelligence, a decent job, and is nice to women. And dogs, definitely dogs. Why do they need to have a dog? Uh-oh, dog bill. Yeah. Um, they, what they don't tell you is they got to be six foot. A decent job has got to be better than her job. A decent wage has got to be over 100000 Emotional intelligence means you got to simp for her. Yeah. I actually uh, I made a video talking about a character from King of the Hill. Like, have you seen that show? A little bit. A little bit. Well, I made a video talking about how Bill Dotrieve is the guy that – Older women always say that they want. He's nice. He's kind. He loves kids. But guess what? He's not jacked. He's bald. He's a bit awkward, right? Was but, he the one that's like bald with like the brown hair? Yeah, like the, the like hair on the side of his head. You know always the only white episode shirt? I've seen of that is the one where he gets jacked. Dude, that episode's great. We should I love that episode. That. We should review that one. We should. Let's, uh, but, let's continue. So where are these guys? Well, my original thought was, oh, I know. They're chasing after the girls in their 20s. I asked one guy in my office what he got up to the weekend. He said he had his girlfriend's 21st birthday. He's 37. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's going to make sure she gets shipped. Based. He is going to make sure her first shot is ever clear. Just like, look, if we're going to keep going, I got to make sure you're in. Zero or 95%, baby. Dude, the amount of hate. I was at this one, um, this job two years ago. And they always would have – they were big on appearances. And um, I didn't tell them I had a girlfriend at the time because they'd, they'd basically like, she needs to come to these company parties. The company, we'd always have like a, a department-wide luncheon every month. And everybody would bring their partners or their kids and be like, this is like social gathering. And the only reason I went is because the department paid for the drinks. And I would legit pregame UCW shows. <laughs> Kidding. Ever. Well, I don't think I was doing UCW shows two years ago, but like content and such. I never told him I had a girlfriend, right? She went to yeah. the college. She was 18. Not, I didn't teach her, so, you know, no big deal. There. And then they found, like, literally one of these wenches saw me holding hands with this chick on a date, like, walking out of the restaurant. She's like, oh, my God. 
Professor Chronic, is this your girlfriend? I, th I thought you were single. And this chick, she wanted to show off. She's like, yeah, this is my boyfriend. He manages this department. And the chick was just like, I know, I work for him. I'm like, good God, no, 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 no. And so I was like, just let's keep going. But she's like, you should come to the luncheon this Sunday. And I'm like, maybe we can. And afterwards, um, the girl at the time was there. She's like, why can't I come? I'm like, why are you so weird about it? I'm like, look, they're not going to like you. She's like, no, she looks, she looked, not gonna like you, but she, you know, we went and I'm just like seeing they're nervous and they order drinks and my, my girlfriend orders like at the time, my girlfriend, she orders like a soda, right? Actually, no, it was like a club soda, I forgot, club soda, something else in it. And they're just like, oh, so you're not trying to get tipsy on a Sunday with the rest of us? And she's like, oh, I can't drink. And they're <laughs> like, why are you pregnant? All of a sudden she's like, no, I'm 18. And dude, because <laughs> Half of these 33-year-old chicks are trying to ask me on dates because I didn't have a writing ring. She just, it was such a shit show from there. Even the rest of that contract, dude, all these people will be giving me the most. It's disgusting how you're dating a student. Like, you could get reported to HR for that. I don't, it was a shit show. Anyhow, what I'm saying is you tell an old chick who's trying to date you that you're dating a woman that's younger than them. They cannot stand it. They can't handle it. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. anyhow, as he was complaining about how immature her friends were and the lack of nice wines to choose from on the boat cruise they were on, I thought, why the heck are you dating in that 21-year-old? <laughs> I'll tell you why. You want to know why, Chess? Ooh, why? Because it, hurt, it just, I wake up every night and I think to myself, I want some young poo. Of age, oh, Poonie Tea. Maybe they're dating a woman that's only 21 because she's not a headache. Maybe because she's not having to work a 9 to 5 career and you can actually enjoy time with her when she's not like in a shitty mood after a long day of work. Maybe her Who face doesn't look like Indi Maybe their face isn't like the people from Indiana Jones when their face melts off. The Ark of the Covenant, it. you know? Love that scene, yeah. It's hor yes, it's horrendously judgmental of me, but seriously, why do they talk about when they're not going at it like rabbits? What do they talk about? I, I hate that. That's funny. I hate it, that. It, I, we just, think about the eight, last 18-year-old chick, chick I dated. You know what we talked about? We talked about memes. We talked about the video games we played. We talked about the art galleries we went to. We talked about the natural science museums we went to. We talked about the fossils we found on fossil trips. Uh, all just, very interesting things that it's not my job, but I like talking about it. It's very interesting. You go on adventures, you go on dates with them, and you talk about it. What know, do these chicks do? Their dates are let's get drunk, let's complain about our work life, let's talk about our boring families, let's talk about, you know, albino mega mind here. Look at these chicks' forehead. Bro. Albino mega mind. <laughs> Look dude. at this blonde chick's forehead on the left, dude. I've seen like a gravitational pull, like the post here is like bending and the structural integrity of this building is just like the owner. It's just like, I just can't hold up forever. Put your head outside, please, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, man. I honestly really hate that quote argument of what do they talk about? As if it's not when an autist like me understands how social conversations work. A lot of the time you're talking to someone a good there's a good chance that they don't know what you're talking about but they just want to hear you talk about it because you know they like hearing you talk right have you seen the jimmy neutron episode where his head gets huge sheen yeah it, it, she's dude that's what this chick looks like <laughs> she fucking sheen. why is her head so big man fucking hell bro like you paint her face blue you know what she could be for halloween <laughs> Fucking mega mind, yeah. No, no, she could be Squidward's house. <laughs> she could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, or like the Easter Island statue, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's sorry. No, the no, one no, in you... the middle is doesn't look. Yeah, yeah, she's. I just. I can't even roast the other two. I'm too busy looking at this one's forehead. Bro, like legit, she pulls your gaze to her forehead. It's actually a gravitational. Let's look at the pole. next picture, bro. Look at the next picture in the teal background. Look at the yeah. the oh. chick on the right. Uh, Bro, that's us. I don't know. No, okay. Legit, this is the kind of uh, woman that would say, I don't date men that are under five foot. Now, like, they have to be 6'2, right? Because I'm 5'10 in heels. No, what I'm trying to say is, like, the chick on no, the no, right in that, like, silver dress thing. Yeah. I'm going to need to do chromosomal testing before I even, oh. like, kiss her. I oh, no. Make sure it's double no, X. 
I, I got you, man. I'm just trying to not uh, say anything too funny. Look at the right? chick in the middle, bro. I you can't. Ever buy, you ever buy Lindsay. a pack? You ever buy a pack of sausage? And they like uh, they bind it with like little coils at the end. I hate that. Yeah, look at this chick's arm with her stupid little metal bracelet. Bro, it looks like a coil for a pack of chorizo. You see this? Why would you even wear this excessively? You see what I'm talking about? It's fucking stupid, yeah. Dude, it's just like, it reminds me of a butcher and they're filling in a sausage. You're like, what you want? Just looking at pork sausage. No, it's this chick's arm. At least the blonde chick on the left, her forehead doesn't look as large. It's zoomed out. The first picture, though. Okay, let's continue. She says, I've been thinking for quite a while that the reason we're all single is because my gorgeous friends and I are getting passed over by the blokes we fancy because we're too old. In fact, it's safe to assume we're not even registering to many guys on our age dating apps because they say their limits to 20 to at a scrape 30 years old. Now, I'm, I'm 18 to 24. If I'm trying to bang around 18 to 26, maybe 18 to 28. Oldest I ever banged was 28, though. Um, but no, if they're no, 30, oh, hell no. Isn't that wild? And yeah, she should meet a Gregor, bro. She should meet a Gregor and change her life. <laughs> what do you set it to, Chess? Uh, I don't use dating apps anymore. Oh, I'm so gonna, based. I, well, so I'm, based. I'm going to wait till I actually get a legitimate six pack before I try again. Let me shoot. Let me, let me make your dating app profile, bro. I want the Fuck. first picture to be you, the six pack flexing, holding a Yamcha figurine with just a deadpan look into the into the camera. Like, look like I just spat on your dog. <laughs> Fuck, it. Fuck it, let's do it. Yes. Let's con oh wait. My mic is a little bit blown here. Uh -oh. Let's continue. No, I'm fine now. You you're not sounding uh oh, okay, wait. Are you louder than me now? Let's continue. Um, hmm. isn't that wild? And yes, I am very much expecting my Instagram DMs to be filled with messages from men ranting on about the fact I shouldn't have put my career before men and babies. Okay, let's wait. Let me let me let me just let me take down the display capture. Let me see what this what this chick looks like. Jana Hawking. This is going to be an experience. Oh God, I found her Instagram. Uh oh. This is gonna. Bro! <laughs> Jenna Hawkins the one with the forehead! <laughs> oh, she's the one with the giant ass fucking forehead, bro! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Can you hear me? I'm uh. I'm sorry, I'm reading chat. You are audio maxing so good right now. I'm sorry. I don't know, I was. It's not, I mean, OBS says it's normal, so. Rip headphone, Greg is. Now, I'm not even in the red, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, can you hear me? Am I, am I super loud to you? Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty distorted. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. Damn, I don't even know. Well, how about now? Uh, no, it, it's still fucky, but you know what? Fuck it, we ball. That's why fuck I it, say. fuck it, we ball. Let's just finish this segment. Uh, sorry, Greg is. Decibel levels, yeah. <laughs> like chronic sounds like an ear. <laughs> chronic sounds like an ear rape. <laughs> Two page meme. Oh man, so Purple Lean says I'm deaf, so audio is perfect. You know what? I honestly think it wouldn't be a UCW show if there wasn't some kind of audio fuckery going on. Dude, it was so close. I was Normal my ass. Chaz has an echo and undead boomboxing Lamau. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Chronic, chronic. You know, because I have an echo, let, let me let me set up a beat for you, and then you can boombox, you know, rap over it. How about that? No, let me just... Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, well, what are we going to do? I'm going to talk in a completely different cadence for the rest of this, okay? And I will try to do the okay. same. Okay. 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 She says... I've been thinking for quite a while. The reason we're all single. You read that one. Isn't it funny? Isn't it a woman wild? thinking? Yes. I very much expect my Instagram DM to be filled with messages from men ranting on about the fact I shouldn't have put my career before men and babies. And I'm too picky. And my favorite is, quote, I've hit the I've, wall. Unquote. I 
The wall. To scream. I'm trying not to <laughs> scream laughing, bro. No, no, you're fine. But isn't that beautiful? Dudes, <laughs> dudes are wall. hitting her up in the DM saying, "You've hit the wall. The the I wall is undefeated." That, I would yeah. just send her a picture of a brick wall. <laughs> send her a picture of a brick wall, and um, what is that? No, wait. You know what? You want to hear an old joke? Go ahead. Do you know why this chick is a brick wall? Why? She gets fat. She's flat on both sides and gets laid by illegals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. No, you're, you're good. That, <laughs> was, one that, of my that was good. I can never use that joke, but I loved it. I told my Mexican friend that joke and he lost it. He actually dropped you- his beer. Dude, I I, uh, I have a Mexican coworker. I'm gonna use that tomorrow. Dude, tell him. <laughs> okay, what we got here? It's always from some hairy balding bloke who <laughs> scratches his nuts in social settings. Okay, mate. You know what? I want to make a fake Instagram where um <laughs> the picture is like AI generated some old fat guy <laughs> scratching his nuts. <laughs> it's the only post on the Instagram. <laughs> He's going to suck and be like, you hit the wall. You can't get a Chad like me or my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. I beg to differ, dear cranky gents. I've never felt more comfortable in my skin. I don't want children. Oh, okay. So she doesn't want children and she's upset that tall, rich guys don't want to date her. Okay. I've adored every moment chasing after a career I want. But there has to be a more valid reason why all my girlfriends and I are single. There are just some shallow dudes who want a pretty young thing on their arm. No, you you not wanting children is a valid reason for dudes not to date you. Yeah. Chaz, let me, Chaz, Chaz. Chronic. There's a guy out there that um, when he was eight, his babysitter came over with her two pit bulls and the pit bulls bit his nuts off and his dick. Right? No, no. And he can't get a girlfriend. Is it a valid reason women don't want to date him because he has no equipment? I'd say yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this chick doesn't want kids. So, okay. She says, I, there have been more. Okay. Yeah. So she's like, guys just want, okay. And how we got this, this next picture of her with her tongue out, bro. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> Detective Cork, bro. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> Boobies. Oh wait, no, I can't find them. They're lost in this photo. Wait, oh, there's another one I wanted to show you. I'll think of it. I'll think of it in a bit. There was another um No yeah, another funny video. Yeah, there's it, another, I'll, okay, I'll try to remember in, it after this. No, in all honesty, how often throughout the day do you suddenly think I should send that I should show this to Chaz? Is it like once every now and then? So I think that'd be funny. Every now and then when I see a video that has to do deal with like autism or something, I'm like, you know what? No, I gotta show this to this guy. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, so after some pondering, I began to think maybe the issue is that I and my friends have paved our lives. We absolutely adore. And if we're going to add a man to our life, they must be on the same level or higher. You can't detract. You must add to my life. You know, I think we add a couple of side beams here, support beams. And um, we can actually use this chick's head. To fix the Keystone Pipeline the next time it blows up. <laughs> Wait, you know, so, something that I always love is how any of these chicks, I'm sure that there is a 20-something-year-old dude that is in their DMs that they could suddenly bring into their lives because, oh, they're a cougar hunter or some shit, but they don't want that guy because he subtracts from their life. I, I love it. They say that they're not picky. Yet they say the guy has to be better than them. Same level or higher. OM Gora says, Chaz needs to see the movie The Toxic Avenger. I showed him the seven I, minute clip, the intro of how he became. That, remember that one? That that broke my heart. <laughs> the ballerina dude, too. He fell into the, the toxic waste. <laughs> he just runs through the window. <laughs> <laughs> when Chaz has to be in a social situation, just jumps out the window. I can't take it. Let's continue. She says, 
for so long I've ranted about my refusal to loosen my standards while you're loosening your legs quite a bit or settle for any old bloke. But have I been going on dates with guys who are, guys who are vastly different to me? Nope. This was beginning to feel a little more on the money, especially when I floated it to a bunch of women at a work meeting yesterday. So she's at a work meeting and she's like, we're all queens. We deserve the CEO, right? And they're all just like, yeah, we deserve yeah, the best. Yes, of course we do. Just I, Then I stumbled up across a book that proved this theory in a way stating that there is a genuine man deficit in place right now for career woman <laughs> and there it is for career woman dude i'm in a position where i'm surrounded like it's call of duty yahtzee zombies the first map wave Just, 25 oh. and my friend disconnected from xbox live i am oh, surrounded shit. by career woman like that it's horrible dude one wrong step, even just rejecting them, I get reported to HR. Author John wrote a book, and it's called Dateonomics, How Dating Became a Lopsided Numbers Game. Oh, so it's it's, it's worse for women now. It, actually, it, dating is lopsided. Women are the ones suffering. Just hmm. tell that to the 80% of dudes that can't even get one date to begin what's with the, at what's all. What's the number, Chaz? What's the what, number what, I'm going to cite? Uh, is it the 95.5 now? 5% of men. This yeah. Is off for, yeah. This is off a scientific study. 5% of men are having 50% of the sex. Yeah. But they don't see the other you know, 95% of dudes as humans. So he says it comes down to numbers. It's not women's fault. It's the demographics. Bro, I need to write a book called Dateonomics. And it's basically these chicks are saying, or this guy's saying, it's not women's fault. They can't get it. They can't get a date. It's demographics. And I'm like, I know men want big bazoinkies. I know men want big old milk bags to give them concussions when they motorboat them. Unfortunately, less than 1% of women across the world have J-cups. So it's not men's fault you can't get a date. It's the demographics. I'd love to write that book. <laughs> I, <laughs> picture, I, I, front, I would, I would love to help. It's like, it's like about the author. It's like under chronic. It's like a face profile. And I have like bruises all over my face. <laughs> According to Berger, the problem with women living in big cities right now is that there are far more university graduated women than men. He said that if women if women would like a man who is on the same education level as them, they will struggle. And the men who are more likely to play the field and delay marriage because there are so many women and oversupply for them to choose from. Yep. He said the solution is for women to be more open minded. Oh, <laughs> No, you know, looking at this chick's forehead, you think she'd have like the entire Milky Way system in her head, but no, she is very close minded. They need to be more open minded about who are they willing to date. And here's a plot twist for you. I think he's right. Oh, no, dude, there's going to be some poor blue collar bastard out there that ends up dating this chick. She's going to tear him to shreds. I'm going to be walking down the street or just walk in the mall, look at the local GameStop or something. And one of these women is just going to start looking at me. I'm going to get a shiver down my spine. Like, I, th I feel that something is wrong. I'll turn around. I'll see that just looking straight at me. And I just got to book it. Mm, I mean, she's got some decent tatas. But, I mean, like, I, if I'm going to go on a date with this chick, I, I'm, I can't, like, I'm going to get neck pain because I'm looking down the whole time because I don't want to make forehead contact. Like eye contact to her forehead. But she got she got a decent rack. For so long I've ranted about my refusal to loosen my standards to settle for own, any old man. But I've been going on dates with guys. Okay. She says, I tend to go white collar. Sure, I dabble with a few footy players in the past. They probably put their foot so be a puny teeth. <laughs> But that was just for fun. Perhaps I should be dating guys who didn't go to uni or took up a trade. Or here's an idea, a farmer. Dude, if you if you try to date a farmer or like a blue collar guy, they're going to demand children. I mean, they'll bang you. You'll get smashed and dashed by Farmer Chad. You know, he'll plow your field. Um, but he's not I mean, like he, he I would say he would sow the seeds, but there's no, you know, good soil for them to grow in, right? She says, maybe we're all single because we've been sticking to what we know. Maybe my Mr. Right is currently trying to herd sheep into a shearing shed, and I've been attempting to look for him at a fancy wine bar. Wrong place, Jana. So in the fine words of Taylor Swift, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. The girls and I have vowed to broaden our dating field and start going to places outside the city bubble. Can't hurt, right? You know what I'm concerned about, bro? What? If you guys live, I don't know where she lives, but if you guys live in Australia and you run a camel farm, Put cameras, security cameras up on your fences. 
please. Get some get some watchdogs. These are the kind of chicks to horribly abuse camels. If you want to support the show, consider subscribing to Kite and Chaz. His link is pinned in the description.